my name is Ojama Ochai. I'm Director of Arts West Africa for the British Council. Um, so our work at the British Council is to create connections essentially between the art sector of the UK and the art sector in the countries in which we work. And in West Africa, we're focusing obviously on Nigeria, but we also have a focus on Ghana, Senegal and Sierra Leone. Um, and we've worked with Ake for many years now because we find that, one, the partnership is, um, it gets better and better every year, I feel, we feel. Um, but also, we also get quite good impact from working with Ake in the sense that by programming British artists in the festival, we give them a platform many, um, f which they're often looking for you know, in Nigeria. So for example, this year, we've got a number of British Nigerian artists that have been wanting to come back to Nigeria for a long time and wanting a platform in Nigeria through which they can show their work. So we're presenting them at Ake for the first time. But even beyond that, um, even for sort of non-diaspora artists, people wanting to engage, it's our job to give them the best possible platform to do that, and Ake gives us that platform. And so that's the reason why we work with Ake. But anybody who has also met Lola knows that Lola is a force of nature, right? So it's just impossible not to want to work with her because you know that you'll get results, you'll get impact, there's the growth year on year. Um, we invited Lola, for example, to Edinburgh back in the summer in August to go to the Edinburgh Book, um, International Book Festival. And the next thing we know, the director of the International Book Festival is here in Ake attending and wanting to do a project with, with Ake. And so for us, that's the kind of thing we want, right? We want partners that we can work with and they can just get on with it, right? And just make those connections and continue to do projects and continue to engage with the UK. So I think, you know, for us, that's, that's why we work with Ake. And in terms of ooh, tips for people wanting to work with Ake, that's already one tip, right? We're interested in facilitating connections and facilitating opportunities, but we're also looking for people that once those doors are open and once those opportunities are facilitated, they just take it and get on with it in the way that I've just described with Lola. But I think also projects that are innovative, projects that create platforms to show art, projects that create platforms to connect artists between um, different countries, um, you know, within Nigeria, but also within Africa, I mean, sorry, um, and with the UK are also of great interest to us. We're really interested at the moment in digital projects, so projects that create some sort of digital platform to show work will also be of interest. Um, what else? And we're also interested in, quite interested in festivals, so having worked with Ake for a few years, increasingly we're seeing the opportunities that festivals present, so we're also interested in festivals. So the panel on financing the creative arts was really interesting in the sense that, um, first of all, the people on the panel were all quite different. So there was um, Sterling Bank, who we work quite extensively with, and there was me from the British Council, and then there was Tom Ilube, who's um, personally funding uh, Speculative Fiction Prize, um, but also works in startups in the UK. So we're all quite different. So I think it was really interesting the different perspectives that we brought to the panel. For me, the strongest um, sort of takeaways were bits and pieces of different things that different people said really. So um, Tommy Lube was talking about persistence. Uh, he said for every hundred pitches he makes, he only gets one successful sort of funding opportunity when he's pitching his startups. And I think that's one thing that's really key. Um, the fact that you have to often ask and ask and ask and ask and ask and ask before that one door opens. Because even as the British Council, even though we're supporting the arts, we ourselves also work in partnership. So for example, as I mentioned, we have a partnership with Sterling Bank. And so we also have to go out and look for those partnerships because it's a core part of how we work. Um, so for me, it was just, you know, that was also an interesting takeaway. In terms of um, the sort of feedback from the audience, as you can imagine, there were lots of questions about, you know, how can you be successful in an application, say, to the British Council for, for funding? And there were a number of things that we did say. Um, one of the things um, which is very lacking 
sadly, is research. People don't research what we do, like what's our mission, what's our purpose, what's our focus. And these are all very clearly defined things, right? And people often don't research them and they're asking us for all sorts of different things, which we often have to say no to because it doesn't fit with our purpose, it doesn't fit with our mission. So the first tip is research. Be very clear what you're asking and what's in it for the person that you're asking, right? Because even when it's a charity, a charity will still have its outcomes. It's what impact is it trying to achieve? In what area is it trying to achieve impact? So I think, you know, it's always critical that people need to understand that and make that pitch in relation to what the organization's mission or purpose is. I suppose another thing is around timing, and it's two things around timing. One is working out the, t the funding cycle of the organization, or maybe not even the funding cycle, the, the sort of financial years as I talked about in the panel, which was organizations have a financial year and they plan in terms of financial years. So if you're coming to somebody in the middle of a financial year, for example, it's unlikely that they'll be able to entertain your request, at least in that financial year. So that's one thing, is no how the funding cycles for that organization are. And the second thing is give it time, right? So often we get requests for something that's happening in two weeks time or a month's time. Even two months time is, is a short space of time. I like to say the best time to ask for money for something you want to do today is a year ago. The second best time is 11 months ago. And often people are coming to you and saying, oh, I want to do this now, 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 give me money now, 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 which is, you know, that's not how it works. So I suppose for me, those would be the top tips. Research, give it time, know the organization that you're targeting.